All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Let's go ahead and take a uh, super easy Dragon Fist uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku into the Beast Gohan Supreme Battle Spectacle fight. Um, I've been pretty impressed with what we've seen from this super easy a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, he does seem very formidable. Now, this could be another good fight for Super Saiyan 3 Goku because the thing about this fight is it's really... At, like, as long as you have the options, the horses, for slot one. Um, okay, this actually looks like a... Uh, okay, so we have... Our rotations are a little iffy here. The gammas can't really... Like, right away, they're not great. So, we need to... We can't put them in slot one. Um, I don't want to end up with double Gogeta because we have the other Gogeta in slot 7. We don't really have... There we go. That should get the orbs for the Gammas. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, I don't care about the in orbs. I'd rather just get all the attacks they could get instead of the guaranteed supers. Um, and then we could go ahead and hit this. Okay. Um, so the thing about Dragon Fist for some of these fights, like, like this fight in particular. Remember, we have 60% dodge. That gets us the extra defense right there. He didn't super attack anyway. Okay. This is a guaranteed crit. Uh, we give crit chance to allies. So this Dragon Fist could allow us to kind of move very fast through some of these opening phases. Uh, that's probably not always a good thing, though. Moving super quickly through some of these fights. Um, you know, you're, you're probably better off because you, you're always going to have so many different characters that need to build up in various ways. Um... So, like, there's, it, like, because you have all these characters that have to build up in all these different ways, typically you don't want to go super fast through some of these fights. Like, that's the other thing about when we start talking about, like, people having a little bit too much of an affinity for damage. If you just go all damage, damage, damage on every single character, I mean, it's a good chance you could speed run right into your death, which could be very common against some of the toughest bosses in the game, especially, like, blue gogeta um that that's definitely something that's more of a factor in the blue gogeta fight right like if you move through god goku and god vegeta and then blue goku and blue vegeta and then str gogeta if you move through those three phases too fast it can be an issue um when we took super dragon fist in there we did do that we just one turn it's like boom 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 we're just one turning every phase um but i i, I didn't necessarily feel like it hurt us i would say um so I guess that's that's another thing we can sort of keep in mind. Are we going to leave him with a... He's going to have one sliver of health. Okay. I think he's probably going to have just a tiny sliver of health. This is the friend Gogeta. I don't know. Maybe he could crit. Okay, he does crit. Alrighty. So, now we're on Gohan on turn two. Uh, let's float... Let's do this. Let's float God Goku. Um, so... We'll, we'll float God Goku. Gamma 1 doesn't even need a super attack. Not a big deal. We'll float God Goku. Get him over there next to... Actually, maybe I... Mm. Maybe it would have been smarter to even float Gamma 1. Because um, we're, we're probably going to be going up against Beast. God Goku in slot 1 can be fine. But of course, it's it's gonna, he's going to need to dodge. I If we had full HP, could he survive Beast Gohan's super attack? Uh, I feel like maybe. Maybe. Maybe he could survive the super attack if we had full HP. Probably not. It probably is going to be a dodge or die situation. Uh, this fight is really weird. In that these first two phases aren't really the craziest. I mean, the physical Gohan is very weak. This ultimate Gohan... I, like, if you're running the best characters, this guy is not scary, but... If you're running subpar characters at all, this guy can be very tough. That's why, like, the artificial life form mission, um, things can get, you know, very tough against this Gohan. Uh, you know, especially because you, you know, type the type coverage as well. Beast at the end is physical, um, you know, so we'd want to load up on STR characters, and then this Gohan would have type advantage against them, which, you know, can be a, a real uh, nuisance there. Okay, sure. Uh, and then bam. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and swap out the gammas. We could probably just put Super Dragon Fist in slot 2 after this, too. Yeah. 
1号はあいつを引きつけて時間を稼いでくれ2号お前まさか<笑>
what, what I'm talking about is the extra defense and crit chance um, that he gets when he... 14k, that's not bad. Uh, when he For three turns when he dodges, we're not going to have that available to us. Uh, remember that he has a 30% chance to dodge plus whatever we have in the hidden potential system. Well, I shouldn't say plus. It's more like or what we have in the hidden potential system. Uh, I would preferably we dodge the first one and then he gets hit by the second one so we can see. Uh, remember that uh, he doesn't have a defensive super attack effect. Well, he doesn't have a super attack effect at all against most bosses. We dodge it. Defense activated. And then he, he dodges that one as well. Okay. Well, I mean, he's getting the job done. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, well, well. We'll uh, we'll do go jeeting time right here. Yeah. All right, so we got that done. Let's go ahead and keep Beast on rotation and then transform you. Uh, this is probably going to be death for the enemy Beast Gohan. Yeah, so, I mean, this has gone well. I mean, I sure, we're running, you know, Movie Hero, it's a strong team and all that, right? Like, we've got a lot of anniversary LRs on the team and all that stuff, but... I mean, I, I, I don't know. Like, Dragon Fist doesn't... Like, we could run... I think Bardock, EZA Bardock is the good example to use here. Like, it, it's like, you know, we're running all these characters, and then it's like, what? Like, he is not like all the others, like Bardock, right? Like, he's doing, like, these, like, 5 million attack stats, and he's got 200k defense. It's like, once he becomes Super Saiyan, like, he could look, he could look really good, depending upon the situation. But a lot of times, he, like, he just doesn't look like these other characters. Um, but then Dragon Fist, at, like, he looks like he's on par with a lot of these other characters, right? Like, he doesn't feel out of place. As a 2015 Dokkan Fest with a 2017 EZA, he doesn't seem out of place to me in these tough fights on these stacked teams. And I think that is really pretty crazy. Um, this might be over, might not. Um, Gogeta at the end there is going to guarantee crit on every hit. So I guess if he does four, that could be that. Um, Beast Gohan's active against this guy is not going to be quite as good as Gogeta's. Because um, the Beast Gohan super attack, if it connects with you, remember it stuns you. So, like, we could use our Beast Gohan active, but then we wouldn't be able to counter attack the enemy Beast. Alright, looks like we still have a turn to go here. Um, so... We are going to have Gamma 1 in slot 1, which means we have a really good uh, character um, who could go in slot 1 and potentially uh, tank. Hopefully, we'll be able to put the LR Gammas next to Gamma 1. You know, then, even if he doesn't tank, he'll barely get hurt. Although, I did put Gamma 1 in front of all those attacks. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay. So, we're not going to get the Gamma Links activated. Oh, actually, yeah, this is perfect. An opportunity for us to actually use this, sure. Alrighty, so there's that, and yeah, that is that. GG. Let me know what you guys are thinking about Super Easy A Dragon Fist, man, but I love them. I, I, you know, it's just exciting. I made this point, uh, you know, when we did the 200% video on him and stuff like that, but he doesn't really, like, like, he's super good. I, I think he's a great, like, okay, like, this is a really good sign, but where Super Easy A's to me are going to get very intriguing it's going to be when we're talking about these villains. Because, you know, we're always going to be getting way more super class characters than we're going to be getting villains, right? That's always going to be... Wow, zero with the crit? Okay. 
Actually, maybe this isn't over because we can't... Gamma 1 gets stunned and then we do zero damage with crits. Um, I guess we're going to have the second Gogeta active. We do, yeah, and then zero again. Okay. Guys, we can win. I literally use Gogeta's active and it's over. But, but, I also could use Beast active and it's over as well. Either of those actives and we win. But are we going to cower it out like that? No, we are not. No. We're not. Regardless of what happens right here, I I still like what I saw from Super Easy A Dragon Fist in here. 60% dodge right here. Ah, damn. Okay. That would, that would have been a sick way to end it. Um, still pretty content. Because, um, again, we, we, we could have just easily ended that, right, with the active. So that, that was still essentially a W. But... Yeah, he, he's very, like, he's just a competent character we could bring on these teams. He's on a lot of teams, too. It's it's not like, I, I do think sometimes people get, like, they lose sight a little bit of, like, oh, like, why would I ever run him? Like, I would think people would want to not just run the same build over and over and over and over and over and use some different characters. So, like, he is a decent sub option for a lot of these teams, and the other thing to keep in mind with him, too, is that he doesn't have annoying restrictions. So, like, the Dragon Fist we're seeing, like, you know, he can be that on all these category teams, right? Like, if we'll get missions for, a, you know, a lot of these categories, and this guy could be an option for that. So, really nice. I love this guy. I think he's great.